Well, it's not surprising, but not the news many of us had hoped for. A certain someone or something says six more weeks of winter are on the way. That's the prediction made this morning by Punxsutawney Phil when the world's most famous groundhog was pulled from his tree stump at Gobbler's Knob in front of thousands of onlookers. He saw his shadow. According to records that date all the way back to 1887, Phil has predicted a longer winter more than 100 times. Our team of Storm Tracker 16 meteorologists argue that Punxsutawney Phil's method for forecasting the weather isn't the most accurate, but Ali Gallo takes a look at animals that may predict the weather better than a groundhog. Punxsutawney Phil's prediction of six more weeks of winter is probably not surprising given the January we just had. And while many, like your Storm Tracker 16 team, would argue there is no actual science behind a groundhog seeing or not seeing his shadow, there are animals that have extra sensory capabilities and therefore are believed to be able to sense the weather that is coming. Dogs with their superior sense of smell can sense, you know, the metallic smell of like the thunderstorms or like an electrical storm or something like that. Joe Yakavazi is a biology instructor here at Keystone College. The diversity of animals and animal behaviors is one of his favorite topics to discuss with his students. Cows, um, they're very large organisms, so when they stand, they dissipate their heat a little bit easier. So usually when they're sitting down, that means they're colder, and also they may be trying to preserve a dry spot for them when it rains. Frogs are dependent on the environment for their breeding. Here at the Electric City Aquarium, reptile curator Justin Elchinski explains. So typically frogs are looking to be laying their eggs after it rains because pools have filled up and that provides a place for them to lay and a place for their tadpoles to grow up. So it's actually believed that frogs can sense changes in barometric pressure, which indicates that a storm is coming in. And then once they sense that change, they'll actually start calling more, attempting to attract a female, and hopefully they'll be able to breed. So when rain is on the way, frogs will croak louder and longer. And frogs aren't the only ones who can sense that change in pressure. Sharks, for example, so they can also sense barometric pressure. So they move into um, cooler, deeper waters, like in the approach of a hurricane. So they're kind of avoiding all of that altogether. And birds are another good example of animals sensing that pressure change. The high atmospheric pressure um, can hurt their ears and their equilibrium and things like that. So usually if you're seeing birds low to the ground and flying low to the ground, that may be indicative of a high pressure system. Now the only question is, are all of these animals better at predicting the weather than Joe Snedeker? Allie Gallo, Newswatch 16.